Oh, 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 set the cheetahs on the loose. Oh, 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 there's a thief out on the move. Oh, 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 oh underneath the legion's view. What's up, everyone? Uh, in this video, I'll be taking you through how to play Pyramids by Frank Ocean. Uh, this was requested on one of the other videos. Um, the last video I posted was Pink Matter by Frank Ocean. Someone wanted to learn Pyramids. So this is the lesson for that. Um, as you heard, that's kind of what it sounds like. I'll take you through how to play the song itself. It's just four chords looped in the same pattern. Um, there's a different strumming pattern depending on what part you're playing. So I'll jump in and show you kind of how it works. Um, so the first thing is the different chords and the capo. So I play this with capo on the fifth fret, but you can play it on the first fret as well. So if you want to sing with a bit of a lower voice, put it on the first fret. But if you want to sing with a bit of a higher voice like Frank Ocean does in the song, go with the fifth fret. So the four chords you're going to need is A minor, F sharp major, D minor, and then E major. So the way you play each chord, so A minor, index finger is gonna go on the fifth string of that first fret, and then your ring and middle fingers are gonna go on the third and fourth strings of the second fret. So that's A minor. From there, you go to an F sharp major. So basically, bar that first fret, like so. Middle finger on the fourth string of the second fret, and then your ring and pinky fingers on the second and third strings of that third fret, like that. So that's F sharp major. From there, you're gonna to go to D minor. So that's index finger on the sixth string of the first fret, middle finger on the fourth string of that second fret, and then your ring finger is gonna go on the fifth string of the third fret. So it's six, six for this one, four for this one, five for this one. First, second, third frets. That's D minor. And then from there you go to E major. So E major, it looks just like E minor or A minor, but you just move it up basically one. So your index finger is gonna be on the fourth string of that first fret. And then your middle and ring fingers are gonna be on the second and third strings of that second fret. So once again, this is on the fourth string of that first fret, middle finger on the second string of the second fret and then ring finger on the third string of the third fret. That's E major. So when you're starting off the song, the, the way I play is you're gonna do this strumming pattern twice on each chord. So strumming pattern is just a, it's like a down, up, down, but you're doing a little mute in the middle. So down, up with the mute, down. So you play each chord twice. So like sometimes just to like just change it up a bit, when I am playing the E major, I hammer down the two, like the middle finger and the ring finger onto those two strings as I'm playing, just to give it a bit of, you know, a bit of extra. And then you would just hammer down like that. Um, that's the whole song. So when you're playing it initially, like when you start the song, you play it kind of quicker, like the way I was, I was playing the, the strumming pattern there. But then when you get to the second part um, where he's singing, we'll run to the future, the, it's the same strumming pattern, you just slow it down a little bit. So instead of, so I'll play, I'll play kind of both, like the beginning of the song and then like the second part, so you can kind of hear what, it's, what the difference is. So at the beginning, it's like, Oh, 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 set the cheetahs on the loose. So that's the beginning of the song. And then when you get to that second part, so he's like, We'll run to the future, shining like diamonds in a rocky world. Rocky, rocky world, our skin like bronze, 
And I hear that catch me as he marched to the rhythm on the palace floor. Ah, oh, chandeliers. See, see how it's a bit slower on that part? So you start off the song a bit quicker, then you move it to that second part of the song, which is a bit slower. But that's the whole song, it's just those four chords looped in that order. So again, it's A minor to F sharp major to D minor to E major. I play with the capo on the fifth fret because you're singing in a bit of a higher voice, but you can also play with the capo on the first fret. It's just a matter of like playing it, figuring out what sounds better for you. Um, and just like playing around with it and seeing what you like and what sounds better. Um, yeah, that's the whole song. That's Pyramids by Frank Ocean. Uh, hope that helps. Thanks for watching and comment below any other videos you want to see, whether they're, you know, guitar lessons or anything else. Thanks.